Welcome back to Gunshot. I'm sorry there's been a bit of a, um, a gap, shall we say, in episodes. Um, I've been working abroad, I've been working really, really hard. Um, unfortunately, I haven't had much time for shooting. And then since I've come back, uh, the weather's been absolutely bloody abysmal here in the Northeast, and it's really put a dint in my plans. I am, however, back now. Those of you that are waiting for the Bratty video, please be patient. Um, the last one took me three months. I am working on it, and I will get it out as soon as I can. All right, so this week's review is a Browning, Browning B15. The Browning B15 is a dedicated game gun, um, available in four different grades. This one's actually the basic one. Um, beautifully engraved, um, really, really nimble little tool list. Um, let's do the oily bits. Um, 30 inch barrels on this one, in Vector DS choked, 18.7 board. Uh, solid mid rib and top rib. The top rib, notably, is a six to four mil, very, very thin game rib. Um, beautifully checkered, looks like it's hand cut, brass front bead. Uh, three inch chambers. This four end um, is this nice sort of sporting beaver tail with lovely detail here in the four end iron and on the inside, the four end iron on the inside of the action is case hardened so it looks really really nice. Um, the checkering both on the four end and on the grip are beautifully hand cut, nicely bordered, very very nice, um, lovely bit of wood. The engraving is absolutely exquisite. It's um, a sort of a combination game scene and deep scroll that goes right around the action and it looks glorious. It really, really is. It's beautifully done. Um, I believe these guns are actually manufactured in Japan and then finished um, in Belgium. So you get this really kind of premium feel to them. On the higher grade guns, you can get the split captive fore end, um, more detail in this trigger strap, etc. And it, it, the, the higher grades just basically get more better, nicer detailing. But this, even this basic one feels beautiful. Um, coming back, we've got nice teardrops just above the pistol grip. Um, lovely pistol grip, um, quite shallow, um, very, very sporty, no palm swell to speak of, very straight. Uh, coming back to the stock, it's a nice thin sporting stock. Uh, it's a 40-60 drop, um, and then we've got no um, recoil pad back here. It's just a nice hand cut um, with these two nicely engraved screws holding this grip cap, sorry, the, uh, the book cap in place. Overall, uh, £7.10. A little heavy for a, for a game gun, but it feels ever so nimble. I mean, obviously I'm used to a heavier uh, clay gun, but this thing just feels absolutely fab. I was kind of expecting not to like it. I mean, game guns for clays are generally not fab, but I took this out on Sporting today and shot an 85. Very, very happy with that. Um, nothing I missed was the fault of the gun. It was just really nice. Not a horribly punishing... Uh, recoil impulse, bear in mind it is winter and I was wearing a few layers, so I think that probably helped. Um, and I suspect with a game cartridge it would be quite thumpy, but very, very light, very nimble, easy to carry, um, and just glorious. I think this would be an absolutely fabulous game gun. Um, at ten and a half, or thereabouts for a new one, they're not cheap, and this is obviously for the, the, this particular grade. Um, you will pay more for, for a nicer one, but I think it's really nice. I wouldn't hesitate to recommend, recommend one of these, uh, as a game gun. I was genuinely very, very pleasantly surprised by it. The mechanical trigger unit has beautiful crisp brakes. Um, looking into the detail up here, we've got this top lever with hand cut checkering on it. Again, really, really nice. Nice sort of teardrop shape to it. It isn't harsh on the thumb. Just fab little details like that that really make it feel a bit special. The script on the barrel, it's all there. It is really, really nice and very, very nice to shoot. As I said, it shoulders well, it swings well. It's a little bit wandery, I think, if you are um, looking at some longer rangey stuff. But then again, if you are shooting game, you are, you're not going to be taking the kind of long range kind of birds that uh, potentially you would shoot on a, on a sporting layout. But just, mm, yeah, really nice. Very, very happy with it. Strongly recommended if you are looking at something like this. Um, I think Bi will have several of these on the wall at the minute, um, all new. Um, and I very, very much recommend going take a look. This is actually a demo gun, which they've got at the moment. So if you want to take one out for a spin, go take a look. Guys, thanks very much for tuning in, as ever. The channel is um, supported by Viral Shooting Ground and Hull Cartridge, the confidence to win. Um, please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the show. Um, follow me on Instagram, P. The usual stuff, you know where to find me. Um, upcoming, obviously I'm still working on the Parazzi video. Um, and I'm going to be doing, I think, a bit more sort of technical stuff around 
shooting disciplines and some more gear reviews. Um, please, by the way, drop a comment if you're into that sort of thing. Let me know what kind of gear you'd like me to test. Um, but I'm going to have to start doing more gear reviews because I'm actually running out of guns. Um, gun reviews will, of course, come along as and when I find stuff that I've not shot yet or new models, new variants. Uh, but other than that, I'll uh, hopefully be back to a regular schedule and I'll see you next time.